Hello everyone, Max here with AOM Website Pro, and today we're going to be talking about LibreOffice templates, specifically in LibreOffice Writer. Okay, so in this lesson, we're going to learn how to find a template, how to open a template, delete a template, import a template. So, uh, first of all, to, to navigate to your templates, you could go to File, Templates, and then either open a template or manage template. We're just going to click the manage template. But there's also another way to get here too. If you hit or press control shift and N on your keyboard, it also brings up this template window. Okay. Now we're going to use this first one, the, the modern business. If you hover over it, you could get you could see the, the name of the uh, template. You could double click it or, or highlight it and click open, whatever, whichever you prefer. And then when you do that, it brings up a new uh, template. Now you'll notice in this template, there's these highlighted uh, fields with uh, tags in them, like sender's name, company name, address, street, so on and so forth. You might wonder what that is, but what that is is a mail merge you have to have a database that brings in and fills out these fields so for example if you want to mail this letter to a thousand people or 50 people or whatever then what you would do is connect your database to this document and whenever you get ready to print them out or email them out it'll print them out one at a time with the different names and addresses and so forth on it okay so that's that's how you can uh, uh, find a template, you know, within your LibreOffice writer. But there's other ways to find templates as well. Let me show you how to get a new new template. If you hit Control Shift and N once again, you notice this little uh, um, icon down here beside the cog. And the help if you click on that it's going to open a website right here called uh, extensions.libreoffice.org and then here we have extensions and do, uh, documentation and template repository okay now for writer you would select this for your extensions documentations and templates and what that will do is that'll filter it out so you could go get to what what you need for your particular application in LibreOffice because LibreOffice has uh, Impress, they have Draw, they have Calc, they have a lot of different uh, applications within within the LibreOffice suite. So you would want to go to Writer and then hit Templates to try to filter and get to where you need to be as far as these templates now. You're probably not going to be impressed with the templates for LibreOffice here, but I have good news for you. If you want, you can also also bring up, you can type in a Google or Bing search, LibreOffice uh, templates. And there's a site that I use quite a bit. It's LibreOfficeTemplates.net. And in here, it's kind of nice because if you go over to the left-hand side, you can navigate to these different templates like school and teacher templates. And if you look at here, uh, th now they do have ones for a different one like uh, uh, the, the, the database or cal uh, calc for LibreOffice, but we're specifically interested in the writer ones. Now on here, the only bad thing about this is I haven't seen any way to filter uh, the LibreOffice uh, writer from the LibreOffice database, calc, draw, and press. But anyway, we're going to grab this task list right here because I've downloaded this before to use within my LibreOffice writer. I'll give it a minute because it will download, but they're also trying to, you know, sell you on this too. Like, you don't have to click this, but download free. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, you do. You have to click on this particular one. And now it's downloading to the computer. 
Now, what I can do is I can just click on this and it will open this particular uh, task list. And if I want to save this in my templates, all I would have to do is go to File, Templates, Save as, oh, shoot. File, Templates, Save as Template. And then right here, I could give this template a name. I could call it uh, Tasks, okay? And then I could save it in a category called My Templates Business Correspondence, but I'll save it under My Templates and then click Save. And now I'll have that for future use. So if I X out, let's X out here and let me move this off into my other screen. I'll cancel this. And let me reopen uh, LibreOffice Writer here. I'm just typing Writer. So I'll go to File, Templates, and then I can open the template. And then you can see here that I have tasks. I have it within my LibreOffice system. It opens just fine. Okay, now there's another way to bring in a template. If you go to, bring up my writer again. If you go to File, Templates, Manage Templates, and here you can import a template. You can see I got my tasks there, but we'll just go ahead and import it again. Okay, so we'll select the category. We'll select the category as my templates have it. Or, or actually, we could create a new category. Now, notice we have to have none selected if we created a, create a new category. But uh, we'll just go ahead and import it into my templates. And here we have a task. So I'll click open once again. Now it's going to tell me that, you know, I've already imported it. So I will go ahead and import my template. I'll find a find one of my downloads. Okay. Now this SCR2, I've imported it as a template into my template. So so that's using the import now the other thing that you could do is export templates. Let's say that you can you can create a beautiful template, blah blah blah, and then you you can save this as a template, file, templates, save as template, and we'll give it under my templates test. Save it as test, save that. Now we could go file templates manage templates and then click on the template that we want to export and hit export and save it into a, a, a file out here possibly documents or whatever uh, we'll save it into documents so i could show you shows that it's been successfully exported and we'll bring up the files your documents here And here we have the test document that we just created. And it, when we open it, it's just going to have that text in there. Okay. But you could actually, you know, be formatting it with pictures and so on and so forth. Uh, temp, uh, different tables and uh, images, whatever. Okay. So let me check to make sure that I've covered everything with this particular lesson. Because I don't want to let you go until I've covered everything that you need to. So I taught you how to, uh, I taught you where to get the templates, uh, how to save a template, importing a template, opening a save template. I don't think I showed you that. So if you want to open a save template, you could also go to File, Templates, uh, Open a Template and then navigate to your particular template and open it up. Okay, you can do that as well. All right, this is Max with A1 Website Pro. I hope this uh, tutorial has been beneficial. Uh, one more thing, if you needed to delete a template, that's one thing that I haven't taught you. So if you hit Control-Shift and N on the keyboard, 
it's going to bring this up and let's say that we want to delete this test okay all we have to do is right click and then hit delete and it's gone all right and then we'll just click cancel right there and I believe that that is all that you need to know as far as templates go in Library Office Writer. This is Max with AM Website Pro. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.